Turn right onto Kyle's Road. In 2.6 miles, arrive at Kyle's Landing. The forecast currently in Mountain Home, it's sunny and 48 degrees. Check in and pay. Let me see here. Check out time 12, check in time 1. Camping fees. $20 a night. So we are. Here is the uh, kayak takeout, our canoe. Um, so our site is actually right here at 11. So we picked this spot because there's a trail that runs straight from the takeout point to our spot, our camp spot. So this is ideal. So we're at camp 11. The envelope. We just got to the campsite and my tent is on back order. I got a little backpacking tent slash kayaking adventures. And uh, so in a pinch, I ran to Walmart and got this uh, three person dome tent for 24 bucks. So it's not the highest quality of course, but when your uh, tent's on back order, it's gonna have to work. We're gonna set up our tent really, really quick. That way uh, I already paid for the spot, but if there's no tent or anything on it, someone might not know it's taken already. So I'm gonna throw a tent on it real quick, stake it down, and then we're gonna get on the water. Welcome back guys. We are on another adventure today. And with me, special guest, my wife. And we are on our way to the Buffalo River. We're right now, we're two miles away from Ponca, Arkansas. And that's our put in place. Right now, if you haven't noticed, we have a kayak inside of this mini SUV. So it's kind of tight and cramped. We got the hatch pinned down on top of it. And uh, my kayak, let me show you the sitch. It's on top. So that's what we're dealing with at the moment. We're really cheap and uh, to have a shuttle service here at this location is $55 and we're like, oh, no, we'll make do, thanks. So we actually drove both vehicles up here and it was still cheaper than getting their shuttle service. So uh, we drove both vehicles up here. We left my vehicle at the takeout place slash our camp zone. We're taking my wife's SUV to the put-in area. This region is high bluffs, bald eagles flying over you and beautiful, beautiful uh, scenic views. So uh, so we're super excited about that and just enjoying the nature and the uh, beauty of it. And hopefully we'll give it a dangle here and there, but the smallmouth fishing is not supposed to be super good on this north part because the uh, holes are not as deep for se. And we'll be there shortly. We'll catch you on the water. made it on the water it took us a little bit but uh it is so beautiful right here and my wife as well but uh it's amazing if you can try to make it to this Ponca area uh before June when the rainy season is over and get up here and enjoy this beauty and hopefully some fishing First cast and caught a little rock bass. Cute little thing. Uh, there's fish here, but no big ones. Oh, 
a disaster my uh my fishing pole hung up in that tree <laughs> my fishing pole grabbed that tree and it started ripping out drag it's like ah so i tried to did you see it yeah so i tried to whip it out real quick and then what happened uh well i lost co total control in that curve and hit a rock <laughs> i'm like Dick. Oh, i'm fine it didn't hurt but uh i was like uh, no, I still have. I had to quit paddling and grab the pole before it pulled out, and then that was a hot mess. We made it though. Kayak fishing 101. Can't seem to find the small mouth. That's boring. There's a fish. That one feels like a good one. Hey, small mouth. No, it's a rock bass. That's a big one though. Biggest rock bass of them all today. Woohoo! There he gets bad on. I'm in the ripple. I thought I had a small mouth. Oh. Bass number 50. Hey. Where, where are the big ones? I don't know. This sounds big, whatever it is. go first that way if y'all hit a rock I will go the opposite way. Well, we was kind of thinking we'd let you go first. Oh, man. Let's see. Because I was kind of slowing down. I don't know yeah. <laughs> we'll let the Jackson Kilroy go first. Let's see what it's like. <laughs> I don't mind dragging it. Yeah, it looks like you drag a lot on the left side for sure. And the right. Might be dragging everywhere. Go no left.
Chrissy, so uh, how you liking the float so far? It's been good. And that's all? Wow, that was a great interview. We're going to wrap it up right now. No. Riveting interview. So uh, as far as your first time experience, Ponca to Kyle's Landing, what do you think about it? Yeah, it's beautiful. The scenery is beautiful and um, the it's kind of a good mix of like, you know, rapids that aren't too crazy and then just the calmness but you're still kind of floating along so it's not just you know you don't have to do a lot of paddling so that's good that's always good and this is uh, her first time out on her kayak this year so it's a good uh mix between trying to get her feet wet for say or uh keep them dry be better but uh so it's been awesome we've enjoyed it but mainly uh if you're after rapids you know they're fair but uh, maybe a class one, if that high. But just for a scenic, beautiful float trip with uh, some crystal clear water and uh, okay fishing, then this is the place to go. This upper part is nothing but rock bass. That's all right. It's still fun catching them. But every time you kind of feel like it's uh, something bigger. It's a deep hole too, darn it. There's probably some bass in there. My wife left me. Go catch it. We made it, Chrissy. Smell campfire. Huh? Smell campfire. Oh yeah. So Chris and I, we're doing some super primitive camping. So uh, we just found out there's no showers, but that's okay. Here's one of my new toys. It's the jet boil system. Tonight, what's for dinner? We got these uh, chicken gumbo little packs. Um, you just add boiling water, of course, and it's gotta sit for 15 minutes, and then it's ready to go. So uh, we're gonna get to cooking. So she's ready. Now all we gotta do is rip off our top, Pour the boiling water inside and let it sit for 15 minutes and we're eating pretty. All right, uh, this is our first time with the chicken gumbo, New Orleans style. How's it taste, Chrissy? Really good. Nice. And all thanks to the jet boil. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, we are wrapping up day one. Um, fun adventure on the water today, but uh, now we're all bundled up in our uh, mummy sleeping bags. She's got a 20 degree um, bag, and I have a 40, so hence the sweatshirt. But uh, we're all kind of cozy and uh, comfortable, but note to self, don't get the $24 tent, get the $50 tent at Walmart. <laughs> it's a little snug in here, my feet are kind of poking out the side of the tent, but we're making it happen. <laughs> Anyways, but we are warm and cozy, and so uh, we're going to go ahead and get some shut-eye, and uh, we'll catch y'all in the morning. Well, the rain caught us, but some of you asked uh, how we uh, do a big float trip. Um, we, uh, we take two vehicles. Uh, we leave my car downstream. We took my wife's car upstream with both kayaks inside. And that's how we uh, float downstream. We have one vehicle up, one vehicle down, 
and then after the float, eventually some point in time, we'll go back up and get the other car. And that's it. That's how we do it. But the rain caught us, ended our camping, got everything loaded up, and uh, now we're headed out. Oh man, I don't even know where to start. First things first, I need to set up that tent outside since now the storm has passed and the sun's came out a little bit and it's windy so I gotta stake it down first of all so it won't blow away but that should dry that tin out pretty quickly and this is why you have kids help you clean up after a kayak adventure good job guys Camping in the rain is a hot mess, but I finally got the tent dried out completely and cleaned up. I got it packed away, as you just noticed. I actually got it back in the original packaging. That was great. And then I got the kayak, the green machine, and my uh, wife's purple people eater um, cleaned and hung back up. And uh, goal number three was to get my wife's uh, car back in the garage because it's still kind of chilly here and she don't like going outside into a cold vehicle. Happy wife, longer life. That's all I got to say. But anyways, uh, we had a great time. Uh, I haven't told you yet in this video at all, but um, the goal of the whole trip was to try out a few things because my wife and I were planning on a big adventure here soon. We're wanting to do a big 25, 30 mile float where we camp along the river as long as the rain allows us to. And uh, so we're kind of giving a little trial test, see what we needed, see how much stuff we don't need to bring next time and all that. The fishing was uh, not great at all. There's a lot of rock bass, which is still fun to catch, but there was no size to them. There's not a whole lot of small mouth up there. But uh, I'm hoping on the next adventure, the big huge float, that we'll actually get to get on some big small mouse or a lot of good size small mouse. So uh, if you're wanting to see a big adventure where we kayak overnight and take everything on our kayak and whatever we can fit on our kayak, that's all we're gonna bring. If you'd like to see something like that, let me know in the comments below. Hit that like button if you like this whole adventure, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. We'll catch you on the next adventure.